it's let me know. no. Okay, perfect. <laughs> no, no, I'll let you know. Let me know. Appreciate the support. <laughs> yeah, so we're all here for the Java indoctrination, correct? <laughs> right, for, for, for Java 101. Oh, her mess. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We're, we're language. We're language agnostic. <laughs> <laughs> Giving everyone the heads up before we go live. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Mm -hmm. See the dedication to Andrew. Dedication to Android development. <laughs> Android pen, Android pen owner. Is everyone here a CS major or a CS major? Kind of. So what major are you? What major are you? Uh, oh, okay. I was a computer engineer for about a month before I I, I switched to, to switch to CS. I guess like I was interested in the hardware, but I guess it was a balance between whether I wanted to code or do more hardware. Interesting yeah. enough, I was also a former computer engineer. Anyway. <laughs> 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 I switched because I found out it was high, like you know, heavy on hardware and software, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of just gonna lean over the software part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been there a few times, yeah. I was trying to do research there, and just the commute there back and forth just made it not work. Yeah, yeah I, I know a bunch of people do that. I Mm -hmm. I know the AI lead also did that, and I know now he's doing his yeah, master's in AI. David, yeah, 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 he's, he's doing that. Um, I know someone else is doing that too. So that's awesome. Yeah, but no matter what major you are, you could mobile developments for everyone. Here. <laughs> as as you'll come to find out. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're, we're live? We've been live. We've been live. Oh, oh, amazing. Oh, all right. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So, okay. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our first uh, mobile dev community meeting. It's so. Oh, oh what? <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting whiplash. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome, everyone, to our first mobile development meeting. Thank you all so much for those that are here in person and for those seeing us online as well. We're so glad to have everyone come here and join us today to learn the best language possible, Java. Sorry, I have to keep this on. No. And then also the best platform, in my opinion, in our opinion, um, Android. So let's move forward. Um, so yeah, this is the first mobile dev meeting for the semester. Let's get hype. Let's go. Let's go. Um, so this is what we're going to be covering today in our first meeting. Uh, first of all, we're going to be introducing ourselves and what we're doing here today. Uh, we'll give you guys an intro on what mobile development is and understand the, you know, the broad aspects of it. And we'll give you guys more information on what our community will be doing for this fall and a special surprise at the end. So without further ado, who are we? Well, my name is Azara Lee, and I am a marketing lead and also mobile dev lead here at DSE. So I have multiple uh, roles here at DSE. I'm a senior studying computer science mathematics um, at FIU here. Um, and it, I am an incoming SWE um, or software engineer at Facebook. Uh, once I graduate, I'll be there. And fun fact about me, 
I, I, I love the emoji movie. You know, I even have emoji uno. I have like, you know, I'm, I'm an emoji fiend, uh, as well as Java fiend and uh, some other things. Emoji Stan, yes, yes. I, I haven't found anyone except for this person here who loves Emoji Movie as much as me, um, or as she says. But yes, yeah, so that, that's a fun fact about me. Uh, we could have a, a conversation about that all day. And um, yes, and in the future, I'm planning on making a, a course, you know, uh, about Java. Please, please buy it. Please, you know, it's it's gonna be waitlisted, so you know, you guys, you can sign up for it. And it'll be it'll be a thousand dollars, you know, you know, down payment. But it, it's worth, you know, you'll be earning fourteen figures by the end of it. And yes, so that's a little bit about me. And then <laughs> my partner. Hello, guys. So I'm Kunzana Nari. I'm a senior at FIU and computer science major, as you guys can see. Um, so I'm also an Android <laughs> Java developer, still learning on my way, as I'll be teaching you guys. And I'm also a learning graphic designer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you come back here? <laughs> so people could know who they're talking to. Um, fun fact, <laughs> I can speak about seven, oh, sorry, six languages, understand about eight languages. <laughs> so, Very and um, fun fact above that, English is actually my fourth language. <laughs> so, but don't worry, I'm very fond and you won't have any issue where I'll be like, I don't understand your English. So <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Yes, to the fun stuff. So, what we're here today for? Mobile development. Why are we here for? What are what are what are we learning here today? So, mobile development goes further than just creating apps for your phone. It has evolved today to applications that could go on uh, things such as like smartwatches, on TVs, billboards, all all sorts of different devices. It's it's all over, you know. It's all over. Basically, if it's not on web, it's mobile. Basically, right? Um, you know, you may be wondering. Hmm, there's so many fields in CS. Why should I do mobile development? You know, like I could do web dev. Web dev seems cool. There's like React, and there, you know, there's game dev. I, I'm a gamer. I like. I want to make games. Uh, or AI. I want to create a the next uh, smart Tesla car. You know, like there's there's so many things. Why should I do mobile dev? Well, Android development is one of the hottest. Um, job prospects in the market currently. As, as you see on the screen, uh, the average Android Java developer makes 120K plus a year. This is average. While the average web developer, not, 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 no shame on web, you know, uh, Tom, Thomas and Manny, and no, no shame at all. But, <laughs> but, but this, is, this is on average. These are what the statistics say as of 20, 2021. You can look it up. And there is currently a higher demand for, web, for mobile as opposed to web as currently, there, you know, web has become more and more and more popular, um, but but mobile development is 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 still, you know, it's it's on our phones and we we rely on it every day, and there is a growing demand for it. For instance, I know with the company that I had I had interned at before, um, they are actively actively hiring mobile developers, and I know all the fan companies and all even if even if you're not like a tech based company most companies will require an app of some sort if they want to interact with their customers or can engage with their, with their base, right? So mobile development is extremely important. And there's also, there's different types of mobile development as well. So the type that we will be doing in this course is native development. So what is native development? Native development is essentially building for one specific platform. So for instance, on Android, if you want to build natively, or just specifically for Android, you will most likely use Java, which we are going to be using in this course. Or you could also use um, Kotlin, which is basically a Python version of Java. It's a more simplified version, but they're actually compatible with one another. I, 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 that was not that was not a, a, a plus to Python. Okay, I was just uh, just stating the fact. Hey, Kotlin's pretty good. It's good writing. Okay. Best on JVM. True. Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, so. So if you want to do native development for Android, you know, it's either Java or Kotlin. And then iOS is the same way. You could build just specifically for iOS as well. Before, there was a lot of applications being built with Objective-C. Um, but now, there's a lot of applications being built with Swift for iOS. But typically, um, actually, at like big tech companies and stuff, a lot of these companies are still actively using 
um, the older kind of technologies, like Facebook, they use Java for everything. And I know also that they use Objective-C for, instead of Swift for, um, for their code base, but they use like, you know, updated like, you know, UI technologies like Swift UI and stuff. But, so that is a little bit about native development. Um, some, pr some pros and cons about native, um, because yeah, so native development is, you know, what it will be most supported you know, by the original Android people or the, the, the creators of Android from Google themselves. So it's, it'll, you can guarantee that your app won't crash as easily or it'll be, it'll work a lot better. Um, there's better, yeah, there's better store support, especially from Google and from the Google Play Store. The, it'll be much more, yeah, purported by them. Increased scalability, high performance and great UX because all the graphics are original and they're, there's no extra layer of abstraction as you'll see with cross-platform development. So everything, if you want high graphics or if you want to create a really powerful application, you definitely want to go, want to go native. Um, some cons, as you could probably tell, because you'll be building, say you want to build an app you know, that works from both iOS and Android, then you'll have to build an app for both of those. So essentially you would have, it's costly because you would need a salary to pay both teams. You would need a, a one team for iOS I want team for Android. And it's time consuming because yeah, it's you would be creating two separate code bases and you would have to review two separate code bases and it's just the process is a little bit more intense in that sense. So that's that's a little bit of cons about native. Um, on the other hand, there's um, if you don't like those those cons, you could also turn to cross cross platform development. So if you want to build for both iOS and Android and I guess if you, I don't know if Windows Phone still exists, but if you want to build for, for, <laughs> for Windows, you know, sure, you, you know, you can build for that as well. Um, there are technologies that, that allow for you to do that. So um, React Native, which is done in JavaScript, uh, Xamarin is C Sharp, that's, a, that's by Microsoft, or, or Xamarin Company, I'm sorry. Um, and Flutter, Dart, which is also by Google as well, which we taught um, this, this past year itself. Um, so some, you know, some, so, it's the inverse, so, I'm oh sorry. Cross-platform development is the inverse, essentially, of native development. It's less costly because you could build with the same code base. You, all, you could have, basically, if you have a team of developers, you just need one team because everyone's just working on the same code base. And then you only have to review one code base. And, right, exactly what it says there. But, so what happens with, you know, because you have both iOS and Android running, right? You need an extra layer for it, for the application, whether you're running on an Android phone, you need it for it to detect. Oh, this is you know I want to run the Android code base, so that it'll it'll take more time for it to actually run and process this information. And then you're not actually you know you don't have access to necessarily all of the graphics and all of the power that you get with a native application. So you're limited with the functionality and you're limited with the user experience. So it doesn't feel on on Flutter. You know if you've used it, it's an amazing application and or it's an amazing development tool. You could build really fast with Flutter. I've, I've used it in the past. Um, but when you see, when you do, when you work, when you use a Flutter app as opposed to a native app, you will feel a, 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 there is a difference between the two in terms of how smooth it feels, the response rate, everything associated with it. And the, the user definitely experiences that as well. Does any, anyone have any questions about what I have said so far? Yeah. Do you know of any popular apps that are built with Flutter? Mm, I know that, I think Alibaba. Mm -hmm. Alibaba was, yeah, they were built with Flutter. Um, I know, I think Google was trying to build some, some like rewrite some of their code base oh, stuff okay. for Flutter. Um, but I'm not. I'm not too sure to be honest. I know there's. I know there have been some startups that have been trying to do it with Flutter because you know they want to build fast and just get their product out fast. Been a lot of startups will probably do Flutter or some well, or React Native. Sort of exactly. Yeah. And for fast development, you could go with with Flutter too. That that's. And the thing is, like, then you don't need two different type of developers for like iOS and then for Android. You never know what person is using what. So it's just easy to go with like Flutter in like, you know, whenever you need to build something fast and you still want to take or get as many people as possible. 
-hmm. Exactly. <coughs> so, yeah. So, so, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, are there some bugs that come um, only when you're doing cross-platform? Are there some, okay, so the question that was asked, are there some bugs that only come with cross-platform as with native? Yeah, yeah, there tend to be, there. so native, I mean, okay, cross-platform is growing to the part that they are becoming pretty, pretty smooth, but you still can't guarantee it won't, like they, there, there are could be some like UI bugs that that might appear, or some things that might just like w look weird, or or sometimes there might not even be like a specific bug. It's just like the response rate, or just it's just not as fast, or it's, you know you 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 kind of you kind of feel it within the application, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So yeah. So uh, what language are we using here today? Well. Uh, big reveal is <laughs> <laughs> our favorite language, Java. You know, um, so a lot of apps are being created with uh, Flutter these days. Or I'm sorry, not Flutter. Oh my God, um, but Kotlin. Kotlin is the actual official Google purported to um, language for creating Android development. But still, a lot of traditional Android apps are built with Java. And if you learn Java, you will quickly be able to learn Kotlin. Like it's the jump from learning Kotlin to Java is harder than the jump from Android to Kotlin. So if you learn Java, which thankfully, you know, this is also why we picked Java as well, because, you know, I asked all of you, all of our CS students, all of you will have had to face Java at some point. So thankfully, you know, you might have some knowledge and experience already. Although, as you might see with, with Android development, what they teach you in the school, you know, no, no shame whatsoever. Um, what they teach you in the school, the theory, is a little bit different than the application. But that's fine, because we got you guys at every step of the way. So we'll be teaching Java. And what will we be doing? A big surprise, Android, you know. <laughs> so yeah, so we used, to teach, um, we used to teach Flutter in the past. And we also taught um, iOS last semester as well. Um, but the reason we're going with Android is because, as you will see, with, oh no, you know, you might think like companies, you know, they want faster development, right? They want to build their apps and stuff, so they might want to use Flutter or cross-platform app. But that's actually not the case necessarily. Most companies actually, at least when I when I work with, you know, with Facebook and stuff, they tend to separate the teams within two because they find it's worth the investment for the you know, for the user experience and everything to separate the two and to actually invest in having an iOS team and an Android team. So we want to give you guys the best tools to be prepared for the workforce to get to land that 14 figure Android developer job. So that's why we're teaching you the best of the best and also in a way that's intuitive for you guys as well. So that's just, this is what we're going with today. Um, and I will pass it over to Following you. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 <laughs> so, apart from just knowing that how Android is growing, we got also see like how many actively people are actually using Android phones throughout the worldwide, right? So there are actually 2.5 billion people <laughs> worldwide who use Android. Me being one of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not on that game. <laughs> I will be soon, though. I will be true to my, my, my friend. So, as you can see, so many people worldwide actually use Android. So we would want to build something for those people, too, right? <laughs> Apart from that, this map actually shows you where in world, like, people actually use Android. Take a minute to look at it. <laughs> amount of the world that, that default goes to Android. And also, it's, it's worth noting mm -hmm. that Android is the most popular, um, it's more popular than, than iOS. Mm -hmm. Yes, so good. What's the one for Peru? What's the one for Peru? It's like both. Like, it's not as heavy with Android. Really it's 50 /50. Yeah, you can say it's 50-50. But most of Asia, as you can see, is all Android users. <laughs> it's it's expensive, man. <laughs> and then in Korea, they Samsung. They do. But, but Samsung would be it. I mean. No, no, South Korea. South Korea. 
Oh, it's Apple. Oh. Well, they're making something for the world, you know? <laughs> Not for themselves, you know. <laughs> they don't want to use the, the thing they make, I guess. <laughs> they'll, they'll leave the best for the world, you see? All right. So, as you guys know, there is an insanely huge market for Android, as we just saw how many people actually use it worldwide. Go ahead. Okay, so how will we be teaching you the skills? <sighs> Lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. off here now. <laughs> <laughs> it loves my man, I guess. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, okay. So how will we be teaching you the skills to be making that <clears throat> word in figures in no time? <laughs> okay, so that's where we come in, right? our mobile development community. So, okay. what we'll be offering. So we'll be having bi-weekly workshops, as this being one of them. And apart from that, we will have our office hours. We'll be mentoring you for your project, and we'll be tutoring you for Java. So if anyone has like no basic knowledge of how Java is, what Java is to begin with, we'll be teaching you from the get-go. Because the workshop are in a limited amount of time and not enough for you guys to actually learn it, we are gonna have uh, like office hours for it. So our, dev our developer community meetings would be bi-weekly, as I just mentioned, um, on Wednesday at 7.30 to about like 8.30 to 9, right? Um, in the same class, case 138, I believe. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, so our office hours. So our office hour would be weekly on Mondays and Wednesdays, 3.30 to 5, uh, 3.30 to 5 p.m. in PG6 advising rooms, right? But if anyone has any questions at any time, you guys can always like message us on Discord or literally reach out. And if anyone cannot make it in person, we would also be sending out Zoom links at the same times for the office hours. And yeah. yeah and also attendance, yes, give me a second. Also attendance is not mandatory, but you'll be given points for it, which I'll be explaining how the point system will be working. Yes, Lazaro. So where are the languages? Um, in PG6. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> if you guys know the main um, big, big room in PG6, there's 116. It's right, just like really yes. right next to it, or like right across from it. There's there's the advising rooms. Um, so where you go to meet your advisor, there's actually rooms in there that we can reserve and then um, do homework or like do anything. So we'll reserve them, and then you guys can come check us out there. Or if you guys are not able to make it, then it'll be online as well. Um, yes. 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 So yeah, yeah, we'll be sending this information online too. Yes. Um, I, uh, um, I heard from the Facebook program the the when you do uh, office hours. When are the office hours? Yeah. Three thirty to five p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays. Oh, every week. Every week. Say so from next week onwards. Um, okay. Sorry, what was the question? I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't need help. Is that what yeah, he said? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't have to um, come on the officers. They're not mandatory. Mm -hmm. But if someone wants extra help, they can always, like, feel free to drop by or come in person, like, online. Or if you want to watch Emoji Movie, if you're going to be that week, um, I will, will. That would be banned from our advising room. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Buster. <laughs> just, just no. So, okay, what should you be expecting for this semester? As, as if anyone want to take a screenshot or like a picture, feel f feel free to do so. Um, we'll also be sending this in the Discord chat. Um, as you can see, they're 
pretty kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> but workshop one is like today's workshop, right? Introductory. It's not coding or anything, so no one has to worry about it. Workshop two would be we'll be getting into more um, coding based. So we'll be making like a small um, Android app or some functions in it. I won't be giving out as much, so you guys would come in per, like workshop two, you know? And then we'll also be planning out the app, which I'll tell you in a minute what that is. Um, workshop three would be Figma and UI. So we'll actually be giving you a crash course on Figma where you can make your UI of your application. So like, you know, um, take out the creativity all you have, right? Workshop four, where we'll be teaching you how to um, connect the APIs and like work with cloud plat platform. And workshop five would be, um, we'll be dealing with the Firebase, right? And the working with database. Workshop six would be our project showcase, which you guys will know what that means and I'll get into it <laughs> in a second. Does anyone have any questions so far? Yes. You need to come on the fourth workshop. I cannot give away all the information because then I will not see any of the faces again. <laughs> Who told you to speak? <laughs> okay, <laughs> at least I have the mic. <laughs> Go ahead. So this is our calendar. For the next, for this month. Yeah, for this month, basically. And you can also sign up on our calendar. Please feel free to do so right now if you want. Or we'll also be sending this on our Discord. Um, so you can even get notifications so you don't forget. Right, because it's easy to forget when it's the office hours because you guys have classes and whatnot. And off, yes? There's a question in the chat. Yes. Are there any recommended resources that I should look into throughout the semester? I'm a complete noob with mobile devs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, we will provide you with the resources, needed ref resources, because um, we will be giving out activities uh, weekly for you guys to do. So that will also help you build up the information you actually need for your um, ap application that you'll be building. But we'll, we'll give out the resources, don't worry. <coughs> okay, so for your hard work, which is listening to us, I guess, <laughs> we also have points <laughs> throughout the semester, right? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you will be getting yeah, bonus points. No. You'll be getting yeah, bonus like points. points. You'll be getting bonus points for that. Okay. So <laughs> how do we earn points and why? Right? Because you don't want to earn points and not get anything. So okay. How the point system work? First thing is you will get points for attendance. So you would have to attend a workshop and each workshop would be five points. So this workshop also counts, just by the way. <laughs> and that would be total of 30 points. And then completing your project with the specific rubrics, rubrics given to you, it will be 50 points. We'll be giving out the rubrics in uh, starting of the next week. So you guys can just like a little bit relax this week and just like, we'll let you know what to do in a second. <laughs> Apart from that, you also have points for the activities um, and all the classwork or anything we give you. So please make sure you guys do that too because that's 20 points. And we also have bonus points for attending our office hours. So don't think you can just come to our office hours and not gain anything because you're still getting a bonus point. We just one point, but you know, each point counts. <laughs> one per day? Or one, per day? one per hour. Per hour yes. Like hour yeah. But you gotta. Like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so at least day. at least learn something from us, and then we'll just give out the points. We'll round up. Uh, yes, we're very <laughs> very flexible people, you know. <laughs> but don't mean you can miss your yes. Go ahead, gonna, sorry. Uh, So we have a uh, QR code at the beginning. We'll be giving it out the end as well, for this meeting at least. <laughs> mm, yeah. 
<laughs> so you'll be getting points from that because you'll be signing up through that. And also, um, it's very one thing to, to mention that it's also um, you need to sign up for the Deaf Community Official Sign Up Form for the, everything for you to be um, recorded. Yeah, Let's my apologies. That again. Yes. Um, so. Uh, one important point is that the if you want to gain attendance and you gain points and stuff, you need to be actually signed up for the mobile dev community because that's how you know we're gonna take who's who will be serious and who's invested and who will be attending and whatnot. It's easier for us to track, so um, please sign up through the mobile dev. Uh, yeah, for the sign up sheet, it's go.fi.edu/devcommunities. That's how you sign up. Done. Okay. <laughs> All right, so your benefits of earning points now, right? Person to get the highest score will be getting special Android and GDSE merch, which I'm not gonna tell you what. So work hard for your points, guys. <laughs> top three people on the top will be also be getting GDSE merch, not Android, sadly, but still work for it. You know, you never know. We might be more kind. <laughs> Also, whoever will be ending up at some point. So like, you know, we don't want to discriminate against the people who are not in top three. So as long as you're getting somewhat points and you're attending stuff and doing stuff, we'll be still giving out to you guys some kind of merch. All right? All right, I already wrote in there. DSC stickers. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, and this will be, uh, oh yes. The person who will be getting on the top three, who have the highest uh, scores, right? They will also be getting an opportunity to have a mock interview with us and a resume roast from us, especially. <laughs> personal one -on -one yes, a personal one. So, all right, the so project. Mm -hmm. So because our workshop will be project be based, I'll be telling you more about it. How will the project be working, right? So you guys will be working in pairs. We'll make sure that you guys are in pairs in, uh, by the end of, no, before the next workshop starts. And okay, so how this will be working, in person people will be pairing up, people who are in person, and people who are online and still wanna work in projects, um, they can work with the people who are online. We'll, we will have something, um, a sign up form for that, for next week, in the beginning of next week, so you know who's online and who can like, um, like you know, so you guys can connect with each other and work online together. Apart from that, you guys will be building an application with the rubrics given to you, which we'll be sending out uh, in the beginning of next semester, oh, sorry, <laughs> next <Not> week. Really. <laughs> Not next semester for sure. <laughs> And apart from that, we will have like a bi-weekly um, session where you guys will have a phase of application due, right? So uh, in every two weeks, you will have to like, it's kind of like a sprint. You'll have to be done and submit uh, a part of your application. And if you don't, points will be deducted. So make sure you guys like keep your points. And don't worry, like I know there are people who might not know Java who are not used to Java, who are not used to Android development, which is okay, even if you're not able to finish out your phase, you still should submit something. We won't deduct your points on submitting stuff, but if you don't submit anything, we will be deducting your points. And also with that, like we have office hours, if you guys ever have any questions or anything, please stop by. <laughs> we'll help you out with your projects. So it's not like we're just throwing you in the forest and be like, okay, you know, like do something now. No, we'll be guiding you with every step of the way. Uh, does anyone have any questions? All right. Does anyone online have any questions? No. All right. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so you guys, m oh, hello? <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys might be wondering, um, you know, you're attending the workshops, you know, is that is that enough? Um, so the workshops will definitely help you. We'll give you guys all the tools that you guys need to be successful and to learn the Android skills that are required in the work field, right? Um, but it's one thing, um, there's a famous quote or, or proverb, I'm not sure. Um, it's called, it says, um, you could lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. 
So by giving you guys this project to do over the course of the semester, we're basically making you guys drink. You guys are getting the hands-on experience that is required for the workforce so that you know you could put it on your resume and you guys get that proper experience to be prepared before you get into that internship. Because for me personally, I before my internship, I, I had to do Android development just straight up on the spot. I never really did a real proper project or anything like that in Android. I, I mean, I had learned a few Android concepts, but um, I had to learn basically everything on the spot. And that just made the internship 10 times harder, you know, where, when it really didn't have to be. Or, you know, I wish I had some kind of prior experience beforehand. So the point of this project is to help you guys get that proper experience and to help you guys um, develop and grow your love for Android and Java. Um, yeah. And people who saw the reels, this will help you guys build a resume and get that 14 figure Java that job, money. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, so want to build your application? <laughs> Step one, we'll be assigning you groups right now and sit in your assigned groups. <laughs> Hold on. So. The numbers? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So we have numbers listed one through three for you guys. What we want mm -hmm. you guys to do is sit on different, um, different sides of the room. Yeah, based on your number. So mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, what are some good spots? So this room is uh, this way. <laughs> so maybe this side will be one, this side will be two, and this will be three. And, and people online can be a one huge group itself. <laughs> oh, for uh, we'll uh, tell yeah. you. This is just the first step. Is just sitting in the group. Then we'll like tell you what the second step is, what the third step is, and so on. We are. Oh, like, uh, it saved it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be saved. It will be posted on our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll be sending out links on uh, links on Discord as well for YouTube. Yes, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A rubric will be given to you for um, starting up the next week. So yeah, just so that um, you guys don't end up like you know. If I were to tell you, guys, listen, everyone. <laughs> All right, guys, at the end. Hello, hi. So, just attention for a second, right? So the reason why I'm not like we're not gonna just leave you guys without a rubric to follow for an application, because like if I were to tell you, okay, build your dream application right now and you don't know Java, you guys can come up with extreme like creative ideas and amazing ideas to begin with, but could be too complicated for a person who's just starting off. So we want to give the rubrics so you guys could just follow something which is a little easier to like a little like you know to a harder level you know and if you were to start coding you wouldn't just start into like with dynamic programming <laughs> right <laughs> you would start with the I'll easier you, program <laughs> yeah unless you're dr geary yeah, like uh, oh. yeah please attend his lectures go ahead <laughs> specifications will be provided to, to you guys by the start of next week. Yeah, so you guys have like a base that you guys can follow up. You guys want to like, you want to build this app. We'll yeah. help you guys develop, you know, what, how your app should turn out and also make sure it's not too, you know, not impossible to create within the time that we have. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, okay. so sit in your assigned groups. Yeah, so the group one will be on, so if you guys can go to the uh, end of the, the end of the room there. Um, yeah, you guys can take your backpack. Um, um, and then two will be in the middle, so like where my yes. man in the yellow hat sitting, like that area. Two in the middle, three on the, what is this? Right side of the classroom. Right side of my, right, my right side of the classroom. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> what group are you in? <laughs> sit there. 
Come sit here. Uh, group two. So here. You guys sit. And group two would be sitting in the middle. Who, f who left their card? Oh, you guys. Finally got it to follow me. Okay, so step two, guys. Now that you guys are... S no one's listening to me. Okay. Please respect the Java developer here. Right? <laughs> yes. Python says you got to respect too, you know. Just saying. <laughs> so we just did the step one. You guys are sitting in your assigned group. Online people are sitting by themselves with the online people. Not not by yourself, just, just online, right? <laughs> and step two would be, okay, get to know each other. Break the ice, get to know each other, because you guys will be working together in this semester. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Y yes, please get to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me just show the room around then. <laughs> Are they chatting in the group? Can I see the live chat? They can see me. I was just like, oh, are they chatting in the, the chats? I'm just looking at it. Oh, sweet. Guys, introduce yourself online, okay? Get to know each other. Don't be strangers. <laughs> Naomi, I might even get 16 figures with that 16 language, six languages, sorry, not 16 languages. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Have mercy. <laughs> I might even, like, you know, speak Java at this point, just in my day-to-day -day life. System, I'll print line. I love you guys. Just, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the online gang, though. Super active. Love the support, guys.
That's all good. That's all good. I can just... I get excited when the laptop works. <laughs> All right, guys. So now that you guys have got to know each other, Group 2 is still talking. <laughs> Lovely. No, I like it that you guys are talking to each other, at least not being strangers, which is perfect because you guys will be working in pairs. So for now, if you guys want, you guys can um, share context with each other. So you guys are like, even if it's Discord username or that. Oh. <laughs> even if it's Discord username or on WhatsApp, you guys want to contact, that's all good. We will be giving out teams for project. So that will, all, we will give out all the information uh, in the beginning of next week. So please look out for the notifications on Discord. Um, yes, someone had a question? Yes? Uh, does it have to be pairs of two or three? Pairs of two, but if there's any case where one person's not getting a pair, then yes, three is fine. Three should be max just because we don't want it to be a huge group because then we want people to learn as much as they can and get it. Because if there's a huge group and you're like putting like, oh, okay, I'll write two lines of code and then you write two lines of code, you're not learning much, you know? So smaller groups are fine. And yeah, we'll be giving out teams um, in the beginning of next week. So please look out for the notifications and Yes, then you guys will be brainstorming the idea and we'll be finalizing it in the next workshop, which you don't have to worry about it for now. 
Um, okay, no, no. Go ahead. Yeah. For me? Okay. Uh, so, uh, to, uh, just, just real quick. All right, guys. Just real quick. <laughs> yeah, um, just real quick. So um, an extension of what she was saying, um, we're going to be sending out. So, you know, um, you, you, you know, if you guys find pairs and whatnot, that's awesome. Um, so we'll be sending out a form that if you guys could list what, um, you know, who your pair is, you know, so we can store that. And also, um, yeah, we'll be sending out more information about the rubric, as Kunza had mentioned as well, and all the information more so and um, get more things to you guys out by next week. Um, and if you guys are having trouble uh, finding a pair, let us know. We'll help you guys. Um, and so we also have uh, an assignment for you guys to complete by next week. Um, not next week, by the next meeting. Um, it is, it's this. So this is essentially getting your environment set up for Android Studio, if you have not done so already. So I'll just click on this real quick and I'll show you guys what it is. Um, you can click on it too. Um, so this is what, what we have here is called Code Labs. They're given by Google and they give a step-by-step um, -step way on how you can learn Android development. And they're the ones who created Android. So it's an awesome resource. I've done a few of these myself. They're really, really, really good. They're um, actually for Flutter, I had done these. They're really nice. Um, so they, tell, they go with you step-by-step, -step, you know, what the app should look like and all the tasks step-by-step. -step. Um, how you, you know, you'll go through creating a hello world um, downloading your AMD, so that's how you will process, um, that's how you will be able to run the application. Um, and also, I had sent out a, um, a slides on, on how you could do the same thing, basically. Um, you know, getting your Android Studio set up on your computer and everything, so if you guys are having trouble, just like DM me, um, or, or ask us, uh, or come to our office hours. Um, and so, yeah, and then there's all these things here, and also there's this coding challenge here too, which includes the log statements. So, yeah, um, this is what we'd like for you guys to try out by next week. And we want for you guys by um, to how to submit the assignment or to like let us know that you guys get it done. Um, her name is Luna Chan on, on Discord, <laughs> and, and my name is Azarius. Or I go by Potato Troll. Or <laughs> P potato uh, Queen Discord your Troll. GDSC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. and um, yeah, just DM, um, screenshot a picture of um, the code working for us, um, the code, and also the um, like the emulator or the picture of, of how it's working. And then also, work. real quick, if you guys get any issue anywhere, you guys get stuck, please feel free to come in our office hours next week because it's going to start from next week. Don't be shy to drop by. <laughs> and I know Android Studios get like a little heavy to download sometime and has issues. So we'll help you guys out. Yes. Is, um, is there a mobile dev channel on Discord that you can post to submit? Send a submission? No, to like reach you guys? Yeah, definitely. Just uh, ping us there. Yeah. Yeah, the mobile chat, yeah, that's one thing to really, really emphasize. Mm. The mobile chat, if you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything, or you just want to talk about Android in general, the mobile dev chat is the place. Also, if you guys don't ever remember our, uh, what do you call it, Discord usernames, you can al also ping like mobile tech leads. So that just automatically pings both of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we're always talking to Discord and stuff, so it's, it's hard. To yeah. Um, and thank you all for coming. Yeah, they can't see me. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Once again, you guys can take your attendance here and get your points now. Also, I forgot to mention one thing. <laughs> the online people, right? I know four people are actually active. You guys can pair up two and two. Yes, but we'll be also sending out the sign-up forms. So look out for those. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you guys. I mean, yeah, you guys All right, does anyone have any questions? Oh, because we're live on YouTube right now. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, so yeah. there are people who cannot make it in person. Yes. And we kind of didn't um, want to do Zoom just because uh, it would have been know. very hectic. Yeah? Oh, let me, give me a second. Hold on. So sorry about that. Uh, I forgot I was sharing here. Oh yeah, thank you all for coming online as well. And yes, scan the SQR code and get your attendance points. That's five points, free five points, okay?
they can just scan it for now. Then, yeah. then you can just close it. Oh, yeah. Then you let me know? Yeah. Right. I'll let you know. Thank you, Lazaro. Thank you, Lazaro the Python <laughs> Pythoneer. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, we got to build that. You know, I'm a one-liner Java knight. Does anyone know that? <laughs> so <laughs> it, it is a flex, indeed. Does anyone have any questions or anything? Feel free to ask. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Clement. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, it's not easy being a one-liner Java Knight, but I shall live up to my name. Yes. <laughs> thank you all for joining online. Please make it to every workshop and get that five points. <laughs> Because even if you guys are not here, we'll be sending out merch. Also, guys, whoever's on, actually, it's for people online, right? Um, if you guys still end up with the highest points, right? We can, uh, if, and if you're not in the States, if you're in a different state or anywhere in the world, we'll actually be sending out the merch to you. So do not worry about that, that you're not in person, not getting the merch, because you will be getting it. <laughs> Um, okay, does anyone have any questions real quick? Because then we're going to be uh, closing our workshop today. I mean, now. <laughs> does anyone have any questions? Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Thank you guys for coming. And we'll see you guys in, in two weeks.